Hi there and welcome to the Alcohol Inc. Art Community YouTube channel. I'm Lori Williams, founder and administrator, and I have something very exciting to share with you today. But before I jump into the presentation, I'd like to invite you to join us on Facebook if you haven't already in the Alcohol Inc. Art Community. This is a free group where we learn, create, and share everything Alcohol Inc. Today's video is the first in a series of videos using my new line, Lori Trumpet, of simple screens from AAE Glass. Yay! AAE Glass is one of the largest distributors of fused glass supplies, and they've been providing simple screens for years for their glass designs. Tanya Viet, the founder of AAE Glass, is a master glass artist and approached me a few weeks ago about developing a line of simple screens for use in alcohol ink projects. So today I present to you the Lori Trumpet line of simple screens through AAE Glass. This month we'll be featuring screens that are silhouettes. Silhouettes are objects that are depicted as like a solid shape and a single color, usually black or brown. For my first video in the series, I'm going to feature a screen I call Bird on a Wire. Let's jump in. Today we're going to do something, introduce something fun and different in the world of alcohol ink. I'm happy to introduce my new line of screens called Simple Screens. They are manufactured by AAE Glass and the one I have here today is Bird on a Wire. Now these are silk screens and they can be overlaid on a background and using an acrylic paint, which I'll get into, uh, you will be able to um, transfer this image onto your background very simply, hence simple screens. So to, a few things that we need to get started and one is is, is we need um, our substrate and this could be um, anything that works well with alcohol ink. It could be Upo. It could be Nara paper. You could use this on a tile. Um, there are a number of things that you can use. You can even use it um, on cardstock if you just wanted to do a, a plain cardstock uh, with a like a stamped on alcohol ink background. But for this purpose, we're going to make a nice flowing background with this in mind. So, in other words, what we're going to do is kind of place it down here and kind of figure out where we want certain things. So I, I want to have a nice um, orange and yellow sky and this area here, I think I want it to be sort of a mossy green like a, a lake or, or whatever colored and then maybe a field behind it or an illusion of a field with a with uh, something in the distance behind it. So that's my thought on this one. And I'm gonna set the screen aside because the first thing before we start working with our screen we need to do is create our background. So I'm gonna set the screen aside. Okay, so I always work with, with paper towels in the background and I also keep a bunch of old paper towels too because I, I collect the paper towels. So I'm just gonna put a few more of these down to, to catch the drippings and and uh, I like to put them down a little thick. So let me get through. They're, they turn out to be beautiful and I use, use them for art projects. So um, I'm just gonna spread those down so we can work on top of this area. I'm taking my eight and a half by 11 sheet of Kirkland photo paper. Again, working on the back side. You could use, also use Yupo paper. You can use Nara paper, you could use the graphics Duralar. There's a number of substrates that you can use and we actually have a list of those on the website at alcoholink.community. So if you're interested in the different substrates that you can use with um, Alcohol Ink, you, I invite you to go there to check that out. So to get started, I'm gonna pull in a few supplies. I'm gonna use some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna have a little, I have a little container to put that in. I have a pipette to help me drip and, and help the ink flow in the background. Okay, for the project I've pulled together um, several colors. I'm using Ranger brand inks and I've pulled out, um, I have a little bit of raspberry here and I'm, I'm gonna set it to the side, take off my cap so that I have them ready. And then, I'm going, then I have um, honeycomb, which is a yellow. And then I have Sunset Orange, Coral, and I like to arrange them like in an order I think that I might use them and put the 
caps next to them so that I know which cap goes back on which color. Okay, if you're not familiar with alcohol inks, these are the Ranger uh, Tim Holtz brand and they come in a variety of colors and they're, they come in small bottles here. They're, they're a half an ounce um, per bottle. Okay, I'm gonna put some alcohol ink into my container. And this process is very fun. It basically all we're gonna do is pour, put ink on and, and let it flow from side to side and create a landscape from our background. Okay, for this part I'm gonna speed through because we really have many videos on, on the channel here on pouring and creating backgrounds with alcohol ink. But basically we just pour a few of our colors the main point that I want to point out when you do this process is that you pay attention to the color choices and your color theory so that you don't create, mix together colors that create mud. So you want to make sure that you're using colors that are next to one another on the color wheel and that blend together um, very well uh, to, so that you don't get this brown muddy part, part unless you want that. Um, so I just take a brush, I pour, the, I drop the ink on, um, I take my eyedropper and drop some alcohol and I just let the ink flow. I take a brush and I just swish it around to cover up any white areas that might be left. I'm going to come back in with some of the darker colors, the orange and the green here, and um, let that bloom a little bit. I'll then come in and add a little bit of dark color because remember I want that little lake area there. So I'm trying to look at my screen at the same time and see what where I want the placement to go. And that's going to serve as our background. It's beautiful as it is, but let's when we're going to add the silhouette on top of it, just kind of do a visual to see what we're going to look like so where I can place things. Yeah, it's going to look great. So let's let this dry, and then we'll come back with our screen. Okay, so my background is dried, and I have my screen ready to go. So let's talk about the materials that I have here. So I have my artwork, I've got my screen, and I'm using um, a board here. It's a melamine board. It's just an old board that I have around the house. You can also use like cardboard or any kind of stiff board you have, but you definitely need a board because you're going to need to tape um, and secure both of these items down. Next I have some painter's tape. You could also use masking tape here. And then you need something to put your paint on. So I have a plastic plate here. And then as far as paint goes, you're going to want to use um, a heavy bodied acrylic paint. I'm using Liquitex Basics. Then you're also going to want to have a pan of water or something to clean your stencil as soon as you're done. I have one of these um, baking pans and I filled it with some warm water and I have it sitting off to the side so that when I'm done I can just stick my screen in and clean it immediately. Okay so I'm going to get started here. I've got all my pieces together. Uh, the, oh, the, the next thing you're going to need is a, what's called a squeegee. These are uh, rigid plastic pieces that we will use to scrape the paint onto our screen and they are available on the website as well. Um, all the links will be a provided below in the description. The other thing is you don't want to use alcohol ink for this process. You don't, the alcohol ink will not um, spread through the screen. So you need to use acrylic on top. We found that's what, that is what works the best. Okay, so get started. I am going to take some of my painter's tape. Small piece, couple of small pieces actually. Um, I'm gonna fold it like this turn this over. I'm going to stick it on the back here. I'm going to stick one on the other side as well. You don't need much, just a little bit. Stick it on. The, what, what I'm doing with this is securing this background to this board um, so that it does not move. I'm going to take my hand and just run it over. That's why you need to make sure that your alcohol ink is, background is dry or whatever background you're using that is dry. Okay, so that's secured to my board. And now I'm ready to secure down my screen. So one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure I place the screen 
where I want it on the on the piece here. So you can see that my screen image in this case is just a little bit smaller than my eight and a half by 11 sheet here. That's okay, I'm gonna trim it down to size when I'm done. Uh, but I just wanna kinda look through and see what I'm seeing. But And I actually want to turn this around because I want this to be, <laughs> I want this to be my um, area here. So I want this to be at the top of where the blue is. So I'm actually gonna raise that up a little bit. There we go, right in here. And once I position, this is exactly where I want it. Just double check to make sure I'm good. I'm going to tape down my screen. And in this case, my um, screen is hanging off the top of my the wood, so I'm just gonna tape it down everywhere else. You wanna use removable blue painter's tape. That's what works the best for these. And I think that's pretty secure. I just need to make sure that it's nice and flat and, and secured down so that the screen doesn't move and it has some a nice close contact to that background. So I, now I have this prepped and ready to go. I'm going to take my squeegee here. I'm going to take my plate and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of my Liquitex Black in here. I don't need a whole lot. It does not require much. So now I'm gonna take my squeegee here and I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure the edge of it is covered with my with my paint there. See that? Okay. I'm gonna start on this left hand side at the top and work myself way down. And so you can see that as I work down, I'm filling in that screened area. You will probably need to re-wet your your paint, sque your squeegee with the or reapply the black to the squeegee. Um, I need a little bit more here. This is a large one. Decent amount on my squeegee bed. Have a section there that didn't get covered. There we go. I'm holding this at a 45 degree angle. I make contact and I just drag it like so. And you will be able to see when your screen is covered. You don't want to run it too hard or too much, just enough to cover up all that area. Again, 75 degree angle, it allows you to, to put the pressure on it that is needed. And when you are done, before anything dries or anything, you want to remove your screen. So I'm holding down with my, my hand here and I'm removing the tape. Set it aside. Remove this side of the tape. Holding down the screen, I'm not ready to do the reveal yet. Okay, so now I have that. I'm gonna lift from the top to the, the up like this, and boom, I have my design down. It looks amazing. So hopefully you can see this over here and pull my tin over. I drop my screen into the tin, and I just lightly rub it with my fingers. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I'm going to move this out of the way because I want to show you how I clean the screen at the end. So this is what it looks like um, and what I'll end up doing is I'll trim it to, f to fit the design. So you'll be able to see that. Now this will take a couple of hours to dry and once it's dry then we can take it and trim it and do whatever else we need to do. But that's simple, simple design. Uh, on an alcoholic background and it looks spectacular. So here's the tin that I've used and I put my screen into the tin. What I'm doing is I am cleaning the screen by l lightly pressing with my fingers and just kind of rubbing it until I get all of that acrylic paint off of my screen. 
takes a little gentle rubbing, but you don't want to press, you don't want to rub it too, too hard or too fast. And this is a larger one, so it's a little bit more difficult to clean. You keep on going there. You can move this aside, then you want to set this onto a paper towel. You want that emulsion side up. Next, I'm just blotting it dry with another paper towel on top. I'm actually going to put it on a different paper towel and set it aside to dry. I just let mine air dry, but if you wanted to dry them faster, use a um, cool hair dryer. So a hair dryer on cool settings, the heat will will um, damage your screen. So you wanna make sure you take care of your screen so you can use them over and over in multiple projects. Okay, that's it guys. So these are so super fun and simple. Just look how quick you can create some amazing pieces of art. If you'd like to create some art using screens, we have about 40 in our initial release in the Lori Trumpet collection. So if you'd like to check that out, you can go to trumpetart.com forward slash simple screens. So that's trumpetart.com forward slash simple screens and that will take you to the AAE Glass website and you can look through all the designs. I hope you enjoyed watching this presentation. I'm going to be demonstrating some more of the screens over the next few weeks and also more as we add more designs to the collection. So be sure to subscribe to the channel here so you're notified when we release new presentations like this. Thanks and have a great day. share with us it's a life-changing opportunity excite the artist within